State wrestling got off to a dicey start thanks to this snowstorm. 3 News Now, Aaron Hagerty is live to show the impact. Yeah, I'm out here. Actually, there was some sledding going on behind me uh, just recently. We're not downtown, but I know downtown they're having some fun earlier, like the sledding that was happening just a moment ago. But because it's at an arena like CHI Health Center, they can't move things around. They just don't have that flexibility. But because everyone knew that in advance, I'm told things are going on without a hitch. We knew there was a system coming through. We warned our school starting last week that uh, we're going to go as scheduled and on time regardless of what the weather is. NSA Wrestling Director Ron Higdon points out this tournament is always popular. Despite the snow, this year is no different. Our fans are, they're fans. It's good. Like We knock it out of the park. It's a fun event to have. This, from the first session, a good turnout. Just after noon, nearly 70% of all sold tickets were scanned. But some fans admit they weren't as well prepared as the teams. Normally it's about three and a half hours, but today it took about five. Deb Slingsby came all the way from Ansley Litchfield to watch her son coach. She said the team came up yesterday, though if not for weather, they could have come up in the morning because they don't wrestle until 3. I do wish I would have came yesterday. People we spoke with coming from faraway towns with hotels nearby didn't have trouble getting in, but for locals... It looked like the, you know, the snowplow hadn't really got to it yet. Brock Murtaugh came to support his Millard South Patriot classmates. The usual 20-minute drive was double that. We were probably going 40 miles per hour max the whole way. And uh, it's too early to get an attendance count for the day because the wrestling will still be going on until 8.30, 9-ish. But we do know for the first session that started at 9.30, the attendance was pretty good. 7,000 people were there. Aaron Hagerty, 3 News Now.